Now we are on the record. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Oh no, I can't talk. <laughs> I'm, cho- I'm choking. <laughs> Tim's like, yeah, right. <laughs> That's yeah, not- <laughs> when have I been speechless, right? I won't comment on that one. <laughs> you and Susan bring me out of my shell, so. <laughs> well, that's what you need because uh, with this event, uh, you got to come out of your shell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I have no choice now. It's no turning back. <laughs> that's right. You have so much value to offer people. It's just unbelievable. So it must come out. It must be revealed. I'll reveal it. Promise? I will. I promise. I will reveal it. A lot of it. <laughs> Here's so who, t- wants, who wants to start? Susan, you always start so well. I'm jumping up again. Okay. You do it. <laughs> you go for it. <laughs> like the cat. There, there's a meme with the cat with the shotgun aimed at the mouse hole. And, and uh, he says, this is getting real, but he puts uh, shit in there. The shit's getting real. <laughs> okay, it's time. It's go time. <laughs> it's go time. <laughs> I'm ready. Let me out of the gate. Open the gate. <laughs> exactly. In, in all seriousness, I, what's really exciting about the idea of, of doing this live event with the two of you, Tammy and Tim, what really excites me personally is that I know given our varied experience and our varied expertise, of course, you two much more than me in a lot of the direct sales areas and everything, I think combining our incredible energy and our various expertise, we have so much to offer and and that the energy combined will just elevate it another level. And we'll be sharing, we'll find ourselves sharing things that we have not shared yet to date because it's the energy that combined that will provide that organic, incredible environment. So I think the people, and this isn't hypey or salesy or anything, I strongly think that the people that make that decision to be present with us, especially being that it's our first one, and we're just so excited to be doing this, and we're really stepping out of our own comfort zone to do it. So I think it's going to be raw. It's going to be very transparent. And I think it's going to be massive value. So I'm just really excited about it for all of those reasons. Same here. (laughs) Tim, you look like you want to just go for it today. Look at that. I mean, he's just like chomping at the bit, shifting in the seat. He's got all sorts of things to say. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of things we can talk about. Yeah. Uh, am I coming through? Yep. Okay. I can hear you good. Um, you know, we do have a few people on here. I don't notice Corey, Karen, uh, Karen's cash team. I like that name. Uh, and I'm sure there'll be a few others who drop by. But, uh, you know, I think you said you're going to do Q&A. We're going to do Q&A at the end. Is that right? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, here's... Here's here's the big picture. Um, do I have your permission to keep it raw and real and, like you said, just lift the shit out of the bag and just roll with it? All right. Well, yes. Um, here's the thing. I was talking to a guy earlier this morning. Um, he's probably in his mid-50s. I to say 51, 53, somewhere in that frame. And uh, he responded to one of my ads on live, and I talked to him just like I would any other person. And, you know, he started giving me his uh, his backstory. Um, and I let him ramble for about three, four minutes. And he was telling me everything that happened to him. Um, very similar to what happened to me. Bankruptcies. He's had foreclosures. He's had twice divorce. That's not me, but that was him. Um, kids, uh, turmoil in the family. I mean, just on and on and on and on and on. And here he is, like I said, early 50s. And he really didn't have any path to walk on. He was still caught in that information overload phase uh, because I finally was able to get the conversation turned around to marketing. Once I got him out of his uh, basically just rambling of, of, of all the bad stuff that was happening to him, you know, I had to turn the conversation around to a positive. Okay, well, all right, 
well, that's all happened in the past. Well, now what are you doing in the future? And he talked about how he bought all the Frank Curran stuff. He's bought Ryan Dyson stuff. He's bought Ryan Lee stuff. He's bought stuff from Rich Streffron. I mean, you pretty much name any guru out there, he's bought it um, to the tunes of literally tens of thousands of dollars. And I asked him point blank, okay, well, you're spending all this money. How far ahead are you? I mean, what have you gotten out of it? And he said, nowhere. Um, that he was still stuck, that he was still struggling, because now the problem that he was facing, and this is a common problem amongst a lot of people, they may not be out there spending 10 grand or 20 grand on information products, but the problem is, is that there's too much information, too many ideas, too much crap and fluff out there. Even though all those guys are put, putting out good stuff, all of them. Great material. If it's within your budget and it's interest you, great. Go out and buy it, whatever. But at the end of the day, none of it matters unless you take action on it. And that's where this guy is. He's just stuck in paralysis of analysis, information overload. He didn't have any blueprint to work off of. He didn't know where to get started. He didn't know what to do. Even though he had access to all of this incredible knowledge on his hard drive and through PDFs and videos and whatnot. And you, you ask yourself, okay, well, he's got access to all this information. You would think that would be good. You would think that would be, like, inspiring and motivating him. But it wasn't. For this guy, it wasn't. So what's the point to all of this? The point is that you can be like him and spend all your money on information products. And, again, that's good. That will get you to a certain point. But what he needs, and I think a lot of people out there need, is the one-on-one, um, over-your-shoulder type of atmosphere to where, you know, they have a problem, let's say it's X, and then you give them the solution Y. Um, the problem Z, and you give them the solution. Problem, solution, problem, solution. And we just, it's like a tree. We just chop it away, whatever the, the problem is. Here's, I'll just draw this up. Because I'm a visual person, if you've got a tree... And this is this is my generic tree. Okay, this is probably going to be really really bad, so don't laugh. But this is the tree. You see that? This is the tree. Okay, and then here's the little guy out there in the woods, and he's got his little saw out here, and he's just hacking away at the tree. And he's so busy hacking away at the tree, he's not making any progress because it's just so big. It's just an insurmountable task at him because he's trying to do it by himself. And that's what a lot of people do, home business entrepreneurs. And I was guilty of this too. Um, I tried to play the Lone Ranger routine, trying to do it all by myself, buying information products. Um, And again, it it got me to a certain point. But what really broke the threshold was when I aligned myself with people who knew more than I did, and I was willing to pay them to basically transfer their knowledge into my brain. That's when everything started to trigger for me. And that's what I told this guy too. It's like, okay, you don't need to spend another dime on information products. Put up your credit cards, put up your debit cards. Do not buy another information product. You do not need it. You have all the information right there sitting on your hard drive. Now it's a matter of, A, what do you want? B, what are you going to do to go get it? C, what's your next 90-day game plan? And D, how much time are you willing to put into it? And those are the core components. So mm-hmm. at the end of the conclusion, the 20 minute conversation, I think it was 20, 20, 30, 30 minutes. He's on the right path now. I think um, I'm going to talk to him tomorrow. We'll see where his head is at tomorrow. But um, I think a lot of people can relate to that scenario. That's just my quick. Well, not really quick. But that was my quick three minute rant. It was four, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I always have to joke and <laughs> bust you. <laughs> no, that, that really? was really perfect. And it's it's kind of the same conversation that I just had with a gentleman too. And I think the number one thing that actually every single person, and I counted it, I think it's like almost 300 members now in, in 12 months time. So I think I beat my record from the year before, Tim. Um I think that's what the number one question in everybody's mind is whenever they join a home-based business is, are you going to mentor me? Like mm-hmm. the word mentor me comes out in so many conversations 
And the thing about it is, is um, you know, it's it's a great word. There's different meanings to everybody, and that's one of the reasons why I'm so super excited about this event is because I never thought of me as a mentor. I never thought, oh wow, Tammy can can Tammy mentor people? But you know, now that I'm I've been in this industry for many years now, I consider myself a good mentor. You know, I think that. Um, it, it doesn't have to be where you have all sorts of different knowledge. You can have a, a very niche knowledge and be a mentor to people. Um, so, you know, so as we are forming this, this uh, alliance here, all three of us, I think it is an explos explosive set of knowledge. Like, in other words, Susan has a certain set of knowledge. Tim, you have a certain set of knowledge. I have a certain set of knowledge and experience. And that's the thing is that to bring it all together in one room, Oh man, if I would have this five years ago, I would have absolutely laid down whatever I needed to lay down to get there. You know, I mean, people within driving distance, walking distance, however you need to go or come, just come because it will speed up your knowledge and your, um, your learning curve, like in, in half, if not more, you know what I'm saying? To literally be here with us in a workshop environment, um, it's very rare, in fact. I don't know, and I've been looking around, and I've even attended a lot of events, and I think I discussed this with you and Susan before, is um, that I've been to a lot of events, but there's no hand-holding event. Like, you're sitting in a bunch of, a uh, huge room of people, which you don't even know, so you're, like, sitting there, like, should I even raise my hand and ask a question, <laughs> you know? Because you're, like, there's 9,000 people coming and looking at, you know what I'm saying? So, like, with here, because it's such a small, intimate event, it'll be fine. If you have a question, there's no question that's going to be silly. See what I'm saying? So that's why I'm excited about it. Um, to be able to handhold and walk people right through step by step is uh, going to be life changing for them. So um, I'm very excited about it. Like I said, um, you know, just uh, the clients and, and the coaching people that I've coached in the past five years, you know, I'm reaching out to almost every single one of them and letting them know about this because it's just going to be incredible. I'm excited about it. Yeah, you said a key word there, mentorship. And, you know, and I know that you can validate this because of your conversations with prospects. I can validate it. Susan, I'm sure you can validate it as well. Because when you're talking to people, not only they want the money, obviously, that's why they're responding to the ad. Uh, they want the money, the lifestyle, their own personal goals. But there's one key differential that everybody's looking for, and that is support. That's like the, mm -hmm. the magical seven letter word is support. Will you be there to answer my emails? Will you be there to answer my call? If I have a message or I'm sorry, if I have a question, will you address it? Will you help me? And if you can honestly say yes to those questions okay. and they feel that you're being authentic with them about those questions and answers, then you're going to see signups because it's not just about the money nowadays anymore. Maybe 10 years ago, you could get away with it. Hey, I'll show you how to make 10 grand a month. Great, I'll sign you up. Now it's, show me how to make 10 grand, but if I have questions and, 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 and I need help, will you be there to support me? Um, Correct. Even after I give you the money. Uh, yes. So that is definitely uh, a key factor of all this. I agree, and um, just a little disclaimer, just don't call at three in the morning. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> and I tell people, you know, I mean, just to, you know, just to preface, you know, and piggyback off of what you're saying, absolutely. I mean, there has to be, um, I'd say, oh gosh, was it, uh, trying to think here, 90% of the time, or people are looking for a mentor or someone that has, because, I mean, when I joined my first program online, it, it was like, okay, well, where's that person at, at now? I mean, it was like the, you know, missing in action, their MIA, the person's gone. Yep. Um, the transparency, it's easy to be transparent, especially with Facebook and the social media nowadays. And the thing is, is back then it, it was, it was easy to just delete emails or black phone call. You know what I'm saying? Like, so nowadays, like if, if you see someone on a blab, for instance, then you know, we're real. <laughs> I mean, like literally we're here, you know what I mean? We're transparent. Um, and, and so it's got a good quality to it and a bad quality to it because you know sometimes you just have to turn off your your phone right so you can actually have time with your family that's the reason why we're doing this to be honest is the time freedom financial freedom 
So, I mean, I do this business and I work this business so I can be with my kids, um, daughter in the morning. You know, I don't start until like one o'clock in the afternoon. You know what I'm saying? Work a few hours and then evening I work a few hours. So the time freedom and to, to, um, to specialize in showing people that daily method that I have is going to be fun to share because I can sit down and I can say, listen, this is what you got to do to get eyeballs to your website. This is what you got to do to um, get a sign up, right? Sometimes, I mean, it's really odd though, but really a lot of people get hung up on how to sign someone up. It's a simple thing. And, and I thought, you know, it would be easy for me too, right? In the beginning, I thought, geez, the webinar is just going to do just everything, like 100%, right? But sometimes you actually do have to get on that little phone, something called a little phone, and talk to people. So I'm excited to be able to share how I've been able to successfully sign up so many people. Absolutely. Yeah. You because know? there's just a little bit of a trick to it. Not much, but little. <laughs> And and I and I've never shared it on any live, have I, Susan? She can attest to this. A lot of my team members, I don't go over that strategy because it's a secret to me. <laughs> How can I sign up so many people? Well, I got a secret little strategy that I'll share at the event if you come. So that's just a little bribe today. <laughs> Not much of one, right? <laughs> just a secret, Susan. <laughs> That's funny. Um, on, on and that's my secret. It's humor. <laughs> Seriously. I get the people to laugh. It's part of it. Authenticity. Yeah. I'm just silly Tammy. Hey, Gail. How's it going? <laughs> and Gail is here. On that note, I'd like to tie in a little bit of a visual story, and it's of a, a recent conversation. Actually, Tammy, we just had a client yesterday, and it also ties into what you were saying him with the, all the collection of, of information and so um, I'm just going to paint the picture of uh, you have a bunch of products information that you've collected maybe it looks like a big pile of bricks like the kind of red bricks that you build a wall with so you have that pile there but they're in a pile and maybe you even have a clear picture diagram of the building or wall that you want to build but you're not sure how to put those bricks in the formation to build that solid wall or building that you want to create. Like you're maybe missing some pieces, maybe the grout that you put in between. Maybe you don't know which tool is the right thing to spread the grout, or you're not sure how to place the pieces so that it's a solid, sustainable wall or building. That's what we intend to provide at the, at the event, connecting. You have all the dots and we want to help you connect them so that they flow to get you from A to B. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. because uh, there's a lot of dots out there. Uh, there's, you know, you got YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Google, solo ads, um, retargeting, pixels, um, SMS, you got all kinds of stuff. And it's like, I love the way you just said that with the dots because, you know, you can visualize like 29 different dots on a, on a, on a piece of paper, but how do you connect those dots? How do you make them uniform and, and work so they work in harmony to produce the result that you want? Um, like you said, Tammy, it, it's, 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 it's challenging and, and there's a trick to it. Uh, so if you don't know how to put the pieces together, then you can get frustrated. And then the, the really bad news is going to happen. You're going to quit. Uh, you're going to quit probably in about a 30 to 60 day window after you join the program, whatever program that is. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, you're going to end up quitting in about 30 to 60 to 90 days because you can't figure out how to put the pieces together uh, because you're trying to do it all by yourself. And... You know, if we if we can show you how to do it, then I feel we're going to set you up for success, not only in the short term, but the long term as well. Exactly. Long -term is what matters most. Yeah, yeah, long term definitely matters. I mean, obviously, uh, internet based business, in my opinion, is the fastest cash flowing business that I've ever been involved in. 
it takes months sometimes to cash flow when you lay out X amount of dollars. Let's just let's just hypothetically throw out some big numbers here. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars to start a restaurant, for example. You know, my husband had a bright idea. Hey, I just turned forty. Let's start a restaurant. And my, you know, <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's go for it. <laughs> I mean, that's just hey, when there's an idea, an entrepreneurial idea, I'm on it, right? So, hey, it was it was a big chunk of change. Did it work out? No, did not work out. Um, it took us probably nine, 10 months just to start putting money back into our pocket. With an internet-based business, it amazes me that people don't realize what they have in their hands. Like literally, it's like a Ferrari that you can drive. You can either drive it like a Pinto or you can drive it like a Ferrari. It's up to you, it's your choice. Whereas with a brick and mortar business, you really don't have that choice. You can only push so many people in that seat. You know what I'm saying? Like there's open seat right here. Like when we used to talk about it, it'd be like, how many tops can you turn in a night, right? How many tables can you turn in a night? Well, with here, you can send as many people as you certainly possibly can handle it. And that's why I expanded. And I was just joking before this blab. I told Susan we got room for expansion now. I can set my little, you know, assistants there on answering the phone. I mean, you can expand. See what I'm saying? With a business like this, um, you know, you can expand it virtually. You can work with other people that have more knowledge than you. Um, th there's just so many possibilities. There's endless possibilities with a internet based business and it's the lifestyle. It's what I call the lifestyle business. So if you come to this event, you're going to find out how to set up your lifestyle, not just your business, but your lifestyle. Like I said, I love my time freedom. So, you know, yes, you get emails and texts and things like that, that you have a certain amount of time to respond to. But I'm just saying like, literally, if you want to go on a vacation, you don't have to staff or make sure that that kitchen or that restaurant staffed. I can't tell you how many times I'd miss my kids events because a cook left or, or because a, because a, um, a server didn't show up. Who, who ended up having to do that? Moi. So when my husband actually fell and he broke his wrist and he broke his um, hip is what actually kind of went spiraling down our restaurant. So we lost our control of the whole thing you know what i'm saying so but you know just tying it back to events it was a tragic event that happened so you know things in your life you know if you can if you can make that um the learning curve go down by just attending one event that can set you up for not only your you know your know-how and, and where to get traffic and you know your sales funnel how to get that set up correctly if you can go to something like this in one day and learn it as opposed to spreading out over a whole year, you're going to save a ton of money. Let's just look at it like that. You're going to save a ton of money as opposed to what you're just talking about, Tim, with that guy spending thousands and thousands of dollars on that education. Yep. I mean, that's ridiculous. So it's going to take you a weekend to fly here and to meet us. And then of course the, you know, the tickets and stuff like that, but it's going to save you years and years of spending thousands. Oh, wait, maybe I'll go get that warrior ebook today, or maybe I'll go do this, or maybe I'll try that traffic, you know, source now. Oh shoot, that one didn't work out. So, you know what I'm saying? Like oh. instead of putzing around and, and almost doing what I call gambling or, you know, throwing it at the wall, like Susan loves to use and make it, and like throwing it at the wall and like spaghetti. And expecting it to stick. I love that one when she says okay. that. Yeah, you're hoping and wishing. You're, you're hoping and you're praying. Like, Which one's going to stick? <laughs> and you're just waiting for that phone to ring now, you know, with the sale. I mean, <laughs> so we've all been there, you know. So um, anyways, that's, yeah, that's my take on it. And, and events. I just really think, you know, like if I would have known if there was a restaurant event, for example, how to run a restaurant effectively, I would have been there. Nope. You know, but instead I went through hundreds of thousands of dollars to figure that out. You know, it's crazy. So. Yeah. You said money was your most, uh, you know, most important. Uh, the time, you know, is, is important as well. You know, you're not only going to save a, an obscene amount of money uh, by just shortening the learning curve. Uh, because you're not going to be going out there and chasing all the shiny objects. Like I love how you just said, you know, like the warrior, um, we're not supposed to bash things, I guess, but you know, <laughs> warm out there, GV Zoo, $7 this or that. 
I mean, it's just like you're just like a hunter going into the woods and chasing 27 different rabbits at the same time. And then you come home and the honey asks you, okay, well, where's the food? Where's the rabbits? And you tell you have to tell the wife, well, I didn't catch anything because I was too busy chasing everything. I was chasing this rabbit and that rabbit and that rabbit. But if the hunter goes out the next day and just focuses uh, on one, he's probably going to come back with five, six, maybe even seven. And the wife is going to be very happy. And so ultimately will he. Uh, so the point being here is multifaceted. You're going to save time. You're going to save an enormous amount of money. And by focusing, um, that's going to save you both. And it will help get you to your goal 50 times faster, probably. Yeah, I, mean, I bought a little here. I don't know if you guys know this, but it was back in 1998 that I got started with this whole internet make money from home thing. It was actually through Robert Kiyosaki's book, Rich Dad Poor Dad, that I read way back then. But it was also in conjunction with a little $20 program called the Cookie Cutter. And that's what it got me addicted to this whole internet home biz op thing. And I didn't have a clue as to what I was doing. Um, yes, I made money with it. Yes, I was able to get some traction out of the gate, but that was only through sheer willpower, just like just physical force, mental force, just putting an obscene amount of hours in front of the computer, just doing anything and everything just to make it work. And through that product, I learned key things like leverage, um, automation, 24-7. That was when I first learned about autoresponders. I'd never even heard of what an autoresponder was. Much like people with today, they don't even know what an autoresponder exactly. is. So, you know, we can just teach the basics. I mean, it's like martial arts. You know, a black belt is only a, a refined uh, white belt because in the beginning they teach you the basics, block, kick, and punch. And it's really just that fine-tuning process from white all the way to black. The black belt really doesn't know much more than the white. It's only that they've perfected the skill. So uh, I guess where I'm going with this is, you know, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just rambling. <laughs> it's making sense to me. So that's kind of scary if you're rambling. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's kind of high level, actually, if you think about it, because, you know, it, it is, this is truth. This is yeah. No, we're not sugarcoating anything. That's what I love about this session is that we're keeping it raw. We're keeping it authentic. And, you know, the people that are going to resonate with this message are the people who are sick and tired of hearing all the crap that's out there. And, you know, they're getting pissed off. They're getting, you know, frustrated. They're getting annoyed. They have their wife or their significant other or their uh, roommate or whoever. You know, why are you buying this now? What's this charge on my credit card? Blah, blah, blah. We can put an end to all of that. You know, just Absolutely. by giving you that blueprint. That, exactly. You get the blueprint, and, and it's pretty much the keys to the kingdom. Yeah. And there's there's exactly. some things that, of, of course, as we're communicating right now, this is a very dynamic conversation. Um, it's through video, and we're engaging back and forth between amongst the three of us, and there's some engagement in the comments and stuff. So there is some dynamic to it um being that it's it's on video they can see our intonations they can see when we're serious they can hear and see and probably feel when we're being goofy and laughing but there's there's still a certain amount of energy that is still not shared as what can be shared in in person and felt and that that exciting and the, the excitement and the intent so there there's that step further that you take that to be in person at at the event that just takes it up a few notches. Yeah, like we can't hug each other right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For example. We can do a virtual high five. Like, there Tim, we go. Tim, there knows go. Tim knows I'm a hugger. There you go. <laughs> I didn't high five you. I gave you a darn good old Tammy hug when I'm in Vegas. I remember yeah. that. I went to shake your hand, and you're like, don't shake nope. my hand. Yeah. Get over here, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Get over here, big guy. <laughs> that was it. He's tall I, too, Susan. He's really tall. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, it's hard to tell when you see somebody on video. And we're always sitting in a chair. How tall or short somebody is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm about yep. five, five. I used to be five seven, but I think I shrank an inch. My daughter told me, so I'm five six. 
I'm only five, five and a half. Oh, so <laughs> you put the half in there. <laughs> I'm wearing heels. <laughs> so, but yeah, so, no, I, I totally agree with Susan. I mean, yeah, there, you know, you can honestly learn a lot from, from video and from training and things like that. But when you actually are having your laptop in front of you and we can walk you and say, well, you know what? No, you got to tweak this. Or you got to tweak that. And I think a lot of times is like when you do buy those things that you're talking about that training online, Tim, there's so many things that they hide. Like, for example, replicated sites don't work anymore, in my opinion. It's got to be all about branding, branding sales funnels and things like that. I mean, that's how you get to multiple six figures a year is by branding and branding the sales funnel. And, you know, honestly, you're one sales funnel away from the life of your dreams, essentially. So a lot of times people don't know that or it, it gets hidden from them because that guru or whoever wants to brand themselves. If we're going to be raw, we might as well just be raw today and tell the truth. And that makes me so oh, mad. Sammy, bring it out. I want to hear it. <laughs> I mean, it makes me so mad. I mean, that's why, you know, your phone rings is because you're branding you. You know what I mean? Sorry, buddy. You got to sign up later. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's awesome. That's posture. That's posture right there, guys. That's posture. Hopefully it wasn't a team member. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, if I do that live, you guys are going to like have a fit, right, Tim? <laughs> we'll turn it into a lesson right then and there. Turn it in. Hey, I could do prospecting right there on the spot. <laughs> there, yeah. Not prospecting, but I mean sign-ups right there on the spot. Oh, shoot. I told you guys these two bring this out in me. If you're listening to this. <laughs> yes, sure. Blame it on us. <laughs> I gotta blame it on someone. <laughs> I'll blame it on Bella over there snoring my bulldog. <laughs> I have another little story if if you guys don't mind. By all I'd means. love to hear your story. <laughs> uh, this is and this is kind of like a fresh example of the power of in person events. Uh, some of you know as because I was advertising it or sharing it as much as I could because I was excited about it. But my son was in a drift event on Saturday and yeah. he's been in That's cool. a couple of other events. But this is the first event that the car that he was driving, he built himself. So he bought the shell then he bought the motor, put the motor in and he started lots of projects before, but never completely finished it from beginning to end on his own. So you know, the excitement working up to it was huge for him and I. And uh, it was kind of interesting because something happened very unexpectedly. Him and his dad are like on and off again. And sometimes they talk, sometimes they don't. Lots of butting heads. And his dad has never been with him, his car packer. In fact, he was always, why are you spending all your time on that? You should be doing this. You should be doing that. And, that's crazy. That doesn't make sense. And that kind of talk. Well, something happened for this week, actually like the week and a half before the event. And I think his dad maybe saw how important it was to him. And there was a shift. And all of a sudden, two days before the event, he called him up and he said, so did you get a trailer? And he said, yeah, mom and I rented one and, you know, told the details. We're boring a truck, renting a trailer and all this. And he said, you know what? I think I'll clean out my work trailer, and if you don't mind, I'll haul it down there for you. So, ah. of course, he's pretty excited. Samuel's like huge. He was all like just exploding when he came home to tell me this. But then here's what the really amazing thing that happened. As his dad stood there all day and watching his friends and like, because it's a real, it's kind of like our marketing online. It's a community, it's an atmosphere. And the whole event is about that. So if one guy's having trouble with his car, you see a whole bunch of guys going over there and they help him. They help change tires. They help each other move their cars around. They uh -huh. pick each other up. They edify each other. They cheer each other on. Somebody crashes. They're all running over there to help them pick up their bumper pieces or whatever. Like it's just a real feel. It's a community that you can only feel and experience by being there. 
And so throughout the day, Samuel could tell his dad kind of like really taking this in and watching it. And it was, it was just amazing. By the end of the day, he told Samuel anytime, any of your events, I'll haul your car, car here. It's, I'd like to do this with you. So that was so that, cool. It was a whole transformation. And he never talks to me and he invited me in out of the rain to stand in the trailer. So like that's something. <laughs> Wow, that's power right yeah. there. The power of events and being in person and just open, being open the to what you're talking about. Yep. The excitement and the fact that you're with people that absolutely are in the same niche as you and there's nothing like it, you know, because yeah. like, like even we've all talked separately about this, you know, and it's like, well, it's like shop talk, you know what I mean? But it's like, it's like, for me, it's not work. Obviously I'm so goofy. Sometimes it's like, seriously, people take me serious, but I mean, it's not, it's not work to me. Cause I know that, you know, for one, I mean, I'm changing people's lives and, and that's what I've always wanted to do and put on this earth for, in my opinion. So, um, in whatever capacity that I've, you know, done. And as far as being self-employed, you know, even back to carpet cleaning, when I first started my first carpet cleaning, I was like, Hey, I want to, can't wait to change their rugs the way they look, you know, <laughs> they're dirty. I want to clean them. So, I mean, you know, but I'm just saying like, that's just how some people are wired. So to be able to go in an event like that, Susan, and have him change, that is awesome. That's yeah. the power right there. That's a great story. Yeah. And it's, it, that's not something that can be caught or felt or replicated in any other way, but in person. Exactly. That's that's super. Yeah, I can uh, I can uh, echo that conversation because I see my brother-in-law. He's really into the uh, the dirt bikes and the the trails bikes and stuff. So he'll get his trailer and he'll load up the bikes and he'll go to these different events. And you know, it's it's a, just a big powwow. You know, you you see. 40 year old guys riding around on dirt bikes and, and they're just happy as little pigs in mud, you know, and, and they're mm -hmm. drinking beer and just having fun and talking shop. And uh, like you said, you know, helping each other out, changing tires or fixing a chain or whatever might happen, the good and the bad, they're there to support. And if somebody wins, they're right there to congratulate. If they lose, they lift up their spirits and say, Hey, go get them the next time, whatever. I've been to those events with him and they're just, the, the magnetic energy that they have at, at a bike event uh, is, is, is pretty radical. I mean, it, it's pretty, it's pretty cool to see, you can feel it. Um, it is. And, and the same thing with the, uh, with the, uh, with a live event like us, you know, when you can put X number of people in a room and we all have similar goals, we might be going in different journeys, but our goals are the same. We might be taking a slightly little different path, but ultimately we're going to get to the same place or similar place uh, when we can share the same thoughts, the same energy, the same emotion behind it, uh, because it's not just about the money anymore. Uh, it's about the emotion, being around your family, being around your loved ones, helping out an elderly parent. That's what I do with my mom and dad. You know, if I was stuck at a restaurant manager job, I could barely survive just raising the family that I have, let alone helping my mom and dad who are in their early seventies. Um, you know, and I wouldn't help them with their house or their car or their roof or nothing if I was still caught in my old ways. Um, so there again, everything has a ripple effect. Uh, the decisions you make today are going to impact what you do tomorrow and next year. So uh, for me, to anybody that's watching this or will be watching the replay of this video, um, yeah, you see three people. We're three ordinary individuals we all have all come from different backgrounds but collectively we're all coming together as one unit to share one common message and that is ultimately prosperity and if we can help you achieve it with whatever vehicle you're driving i.e your primary business your home-based business then our job is done we can go home that night or the next day and lay our head on our pillow and say hey we helped mary we helped sue we helped bob whoever and that's what we're here for. Exactly. Absolutely. And that part, I mean, that's part that feeds us as well. That's part of our sustainable fulfillment, knowing that we accomplished helping somebody reach their next level. Absolutely. 
and you said something I, I don't I, I can't remember if it was you, Susan or Tammy. Um, but I it what dawned on me at the moment that you you said it because I wrote it down here on my notes was about this you know, um, and I don't remember the exact conversation or the context of it, but the spouse, um, you know, having somebody, you know, who is supporting you. Ah, oh, that must be Tammy. Okay. That's right. You were talking about your hubby in the restaurant. That's right. And what made me think of that is so many people out there nowadays are, hey, are uh, you know, struggling because they have this little secret desire. It's almost like a little secret love affair that they're keeping from their significant other. And I have talked to so many guys over the years. I've lost count. You know, don't tell my wife. Oh, it's crazy. Me too. I'm not telling my wife. Uh, I'm not telling my wife till I make some money. Exactly. It's like, don't tell my wife. It's like, well, how am I going to tell her? I don't even know her. But the point <laughs> exactly, is. Exactly. Like, I'm going to call your home phone or something. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You don't know me, but, you know, your husband's been talking to me. Well, yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. But, you know, there's there's that secret little mission that they're on at 11 o'clock at night because their goal, their dream is so alive in them that they're so scared and skeptical to share with somebody else. So where am I going with this? It all comes back to being right. in that room with somebody who's sharing your goal and is not going to make a mockery of you. Uh, if at the very least you're going to get a pat on the back and say, hell yeah, go out there, crush it, just do it. Don't look back. If you got naysayers in your neighbor, your, your neighborhood, your family, whatever. I'll be nice, but just, you know, walk away from them and smile and say, Okay, I'm going to do it with or without. Um, push them off the bus. The bus push, door. push them off the bus. Push them off the push door. Push them off the bus. There you go. There you go. Yeah, just push them out of the bus. That's way. just a little analogy that I learned from Susan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's the thing is like for 26 years, I've been self employed. So, you know, my family sees us, you know, taking vacations, nice house, nice cars, things like that. What the heck do you guys do? Well, that's all right. We'll tell you when you're ready. Right when the students ready, the teacher will come. But that's the cool part about what we train and things like that is you don't have to bug your friends and family because that's the last thing you want to really con try to convince. Because usually those, let me just tell you something real quickly about relationships. They're like a scale, right? So if you tell start telling your friends and family that you know what I'm doing this and you know what, unfortunately those that love you the most are the ones that want to see you. Sometimes I'm not saying always, but they're the ones that want to see you go down because the problem is it's going to make them look bad. Does that make sense? Oh, it's yeah. going to make them look bad. Like, Oh my gosh, she's succeeding or, or he's succeeding. And because I, and I'm not, so I'm going to shoot down all of her or all of his, you know, expectations or goals in life. That's just wrong. You'd think that the people that love you and, and, and are in your life that close to you would want you to succeed. But sometimes it's, it's not because they didn't get to that that level that they want to yeah the dream killers exactly carlton i mean it's just it's frustrating so that's another reason why to come to you know live events and things like that is so that you can surround yourself with other people that have the same goals and aspirations as you it's just really important you know what i mean so yeah. somebody's like in that giving you a lot yeah of carlton's like in that a lot <laughs> yeah. i think i recognize uh, you from facebook carlton um angela i definitely recognize you from facebook so thanks for jumping on here. Um, it's just the truth. You just don't want to surround yourself with um, dream. Yeah, you're gonna come to our event. Go to the Warrior Summit .net and uh, check it out. Yeah, Facebook. I think you and I are connected on Facebook. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> hey Angela, <laughs> nice to see you here. Um, it's just um, that definitely you know, just being around, like even on Blabs. I mean, I was on a Blab this morning and it's so cool to see other people that love this platform. And this has uh, got to be the most fun I've had in many, many weeks and years is to jump on these Blabs. Susan found it, it's like finding the needle in the haystack. And it's kind of funny how she found it. Cause I said, isn't there a way we can, like with our product and things like that and our coaching, isn't there a way that we can sit side by side instead of down below and she's like yeah let me figure this out and then all of a sudden she found that so just a, like what you said tim it's the ripple effect yep. so the ripple effect online and how you know we met tim five years ago and now how i met susan a year ago 
and now how we're going to meet everybody else. It's just a ripple effect happening. That is it. It's just like when you throw a, a rock into a lake, you know, a pebble, and, you know, it creates that one little wave, and then you see all those little spider web waves out. Um, that's really what one decision is. It's that rock that's being thrown into the water that creates that initial wave, i.e. Yep. initial decision, that in turn creates that ripple of a of, of bunch of positive decisions, hopefully. Um, obviously, we can get deter detoured and uh, make some bad decisions, but that's that's life. That's going to happen regardless. But, uh, you know, the point being is that if we can make as many positive decisions and surround ourselves with positive, like-minded people that are going to help keep us on track, then we're going to get to our goal, our end objective, a hell of a lot faster than trying to just do it on our own. Mm -hmm. I agree. Absolutely. There's an open seat here, Carlton or Angela, if you want to jump on. Anyone? Open seat. Yeah. Are we ready for question and answer, do you think, you guys? I think so. It's 10 to 3 already, believe it or not. Time flies yeah. when you're having fun. <laughs> Any questions you want to ask us about the event or otherwise, I guess? We're open. We're here. Do you want to share what, um, maybe like give 30 seconds as to what um, we're going to be talking about? You know, because I think we're, we're each going to, we each have our own unique set of skill sets. Mm -hmm. um, we have our own um, assets that we bring to the table. So maybe we could each share 30 seconds or so. You know, hey, this is what we're going to do here. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Maybe just share that real quick. Yikes, I got to get my actual planner book out. <laughs> oh, my God. i plan like, for the next hour. <laughs> Tim, he's so funny. God, this guy's a character. I swear. I, you know, and I, was it Michael? I told him I was going to, yeah, with a wet noodle. But anyway, um, <laughs> story for another day. Um, <laughs> now you guys got me on this giddy laughing mode. <laughs> um, my strength is obviously recruiting and getting people signed up. So I'm going to be going over the recruiting mindset and how to actually start out your day. Um, mindset, in my opinion, is 80% of this. I'm going to go over teachability index and how to be open and to actually absorb what we're going to be training and teaching. So that's kind of like what I'm going to be going over. I, of course, I have famous quotes, and quotes have gotten me through a lot of stuff, but also, you know, kind of what I read on a day-to-day -day basis, um, things like that. And then, of course, my, my specialty is my daily method of operations and DMO. Just kind of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis and how to um, use uh, love attraction and then, of course, the attraction marketing kind of hand in hand. So that's what I'm going to be going through. And then just um, is it going to be recorded, uh, the live event? Yes, we actually are recording the live event, which I don't know why, but we are. <laughs> <laughs> I get nervous on video, so it's going to be interesting for me to be doing. This is my first, you know, event. So I've done a lot of training and trained a lot of people, thousands of people, in fact, over five years. And so this is going to be new for me. But um, but I'm excited about it. It's a challenge. So, but those are some of just the few things that I'm going to be going over. You know, and oh, my my strategy for getting people signed up, bonuses and things like that, incentives bonuses. Everybody that's ever joined me has gotten over and above their expectations. And that's what I'm always here to deliver is over and above. Wouldn't you guys agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. Over and above and so. bonuses. And so. Cool. Absolutely. Thanks, Karen. Karen knows. <laughs> I piled on the bonuses with you too, Karen. <laughs> and you signed up just like that on the spot. One of my tricks. I can't give away anymore. <laughs> I'm done. I gotta pass it to you. <laughs> well, you know, kind of, kind of piggyback off of uh, what Tammy's gonna talk about and, and, and teach you and share with you at the uh, at the event, which that's really gonna create the foundation. Um, you know, you know the whole mindset. You know, this this game that we play, this home business stuff that we play and live and breathe and work in. It's it really is all about your mindset. It's about what happens between the six inches and between your ears. 
Um, you're either going to be your best friend or you're going to be your worst enemy. There really is no between, in between. Um, so we're going to take what she's going to teach and help you run people through your funnel. What does that mean? Helps you get leads. Uh, lead. If you want, if you're taking notes or um, you know watching the replay, write down lead flow equals cash flow. Uh, that's like the simplest equation on planet Earth. Lead flow equals cash flow because um, I actually did a video on this this morning on the whiteboard, and I talk about how you hear the the big guys and gals out there who are talking about fifty grand a month, hundred grand a month, two hundred grand a month in their businesses, and a lot of people are hitting that kind of income level. But what they're not telling you, what they're not disclosing, is the fact that they're spending ten to twenty to thirty grand a month on paid traffic. Uh, so you always got to keep that figure in mind. Now I'm not going to be, you know, expecting anyone to throw out ten grand on paid traffic, um, but what I want you to focus on is using paid traffic to scale your business. And two of the key platforms that I'm using right now in my business is Twitter and Apple's iAds platform. Uh, the third one, which I'll touch on briefly at the event, is going to be. Well, you know what? I'm not even going to disclose that one. We'll keep that one in a little, in a little <laughs> box. So Teaser. for right now, Twitter and iAds. It's actually called iAds Workbench. It's Apple's uh, advertising platform. So um, it's all about getting leads. Um, regardless of your budget, uh, I work with men and women who have $50 a month, and they're literally just barely scraping that by. Um, I have people who are spending 1000 a month or more. So don't get boxed into the belief that you have to have 10, 20 grand a month available on your credit card to do paid traffic because that is completely, um, that is like by far the exception and not the rule. If you came to the event and said, hey, I've got $50 a week to put into paid traffic, we could definitely make that work. You could scale and build a very comfortable four figure, maybe even a five figure a month business, depending on your program and whatnot, if you're in big ticket or whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, but if you came to the event with at least $50 a week, um, we could definitely show you how to structure that with Twitter and or IS. If you can do both, great, but we'll definitely help you get some leads going. Uh, and my objective is by the end of the, the event is to have your uh, ads Maybe not necessarily a lot because they do have to go through that little approval process, but at least structured to where by Monday they're going to be live. And by Monday afternoon, Tuesday, at the absolute latest, you're going to be generating leads. That's my goal for you. So that's what we're going to be talking about on my side of the fence. So already, how exciting is that? You guys can see how you put, you take Tammy's piece and you take Tim's piece and you put that together. Can you imagine? <laughs> Right? It's like it's like a nuclear bomb that's just gonna go off. Yeah. Exactly, and then Susan's gonna swoop in and work on the interview. <laughs> yes, we all figured out. And so what yeah. I'm gonna bring to the table is I'm going to give you the tools, the strategies, and the techniques to slow down, arrange your, let's say, like a living room, arrange the pieces in your in your head, in your soul, your your energy environment so that you can then speed up on purpose with intention. It's like, it's like setting the stage so that you're ready for the big show. That's what I'm going to do. I like how you said that, setting the stage so you're ready for the big show. I like that. Yeah. So put all three of those together, and I don't know. I'm just excited. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Me who too. Who can doubt the value? I don't know who can doubt, uh, you know, or question the validity of what we're going to be talking about and sharing. Um, you know, on, on one of our prior blabs, uh, I talked about, you know, going to college and, and spending four years at a university and spending, you know, anywhere between 40 grand to 100 grand, getting a piece of the paper that says, hey, congratulations, you passed all the prerequisite courses and now you can go out and do X, Y, Z. Uh, that's great. You know, if that's what you want and that's your path in life, hey, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to knock you. I'll support you if that's your calling. But if you want to be an entrepreneur and, and, and go out and make a six-figure income, do it from home with really no prior experience, just really a burning desire and a willingness to break out of your shell, 
like Tammy had mentioned, you know, this is going to be, you know, an experience for her that's, you know, maybe not in her norm. You know, it's going to be breaking her out of her shell, but you know it's going to happen. Here's the end result. This is her ripple effect is after this event, she's not going to be able to go back to being the same person that she was prior to the event. She's going to I'm not it. I'm not right now. <laughs> you already are not. Just talking about it and visualizing it and just getting excited about it. There's no oh, yeah. way to be the same person. Um, I can't sleep. I told Susan I was up three times last night. Come on. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like... I <laughs> She'll be ruined for life. <laughs> <laughs> no, they will be. <laughs> They'll be ruined for life. <laughs> We're going to be they, in anyway. Tim's already met me once. Susan's going to be ruined for life. <laughs> don't feed me anything he should, Yeah, don't feed me the, the, yeah, it gets me going. I actually don't know how he's going to put up the two of us. <laughs> true. It's true. I don't know how he will. <laughs> Are you sure you know what you're getting into, Tim? <laughs> oh, I, I think I'll be able to survive. <laughs> hey, that's right. He's got all women in this house. He's got <laughs> all, all daughters. Yes. All daughters. Yes. And I grew up with three sisters, so I'm. Oh I'm wow. very. I'm. I, I'm. I'm, I'm cool with this. this is gonna be good. Oh, maybe we should change our names to Tolerant Tim and the Unstoppable Mamas. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Tolerant Tim. <laughs> oh, my. Be nice, He's lady. He's here because he tolerates us. <laughs> exactly. He's tolerated me for five years, so. <laughs> That's a pretty long record. That is? To tolerate him. Isn't it? That says something. Yeah, this October is our anniversary, Tim. I met you five years ago. Five years. That was uh, 2010. So, yeah, that's that's a long time. A long time. Most people don't even. Here's what's cool. We can turn this into a conversation. People don't even give this 60 days. They don't get it. In fact, 60 days. Um, we all know, we won't mention any names, but we all know individuals. <laughs> who won't even give this industry 15 days. Um, oh, right. So 15 hours. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. 15 <laughs> hours. True. Uh, it is so astonishing. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, here we are, five years. I've been full-time since 2005. And, um, you know, this is, the, like, the best thing since sliced bread. It honestly is. Uh, I would not change it for the world. I wouldn't uh, – I would not want to go into the uh, – into the corporate world or into the restaurant management world where I was, um, that should, that environment's just not for me. I've changed. I would not, the mold that I have today, the mold of the person that I am today would not fit in that environment. It would be like right. water would be instant clash. I wouldn't even have yeah. an hour. Uh, and so that's where I was kind of going with the thought with Tammy earlier is that she's not going to be able to be the same person. She's breaking out of her shell. So what's your excuse for those of you who are watching this replay? You know, sitting there skeptical or, or closed minded, you know, here she is breaking out of her mold to do something that is slightly out of her comfort zone. And she's never going to be the same person. It's going to have profound positive effect for years to come. And where she's going to be at in three years, where Susan's going to be at three years after this, where I'm going to be at in three years after this. I mean, it's, it's like an open... Um, What's the word? Canvas. It's, a, it's an open canvas. It's, we can paint where we're going. And that is what's so cool about being an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> we always use the same words. <laughs> what else do we We're, we're same. We're sisters, Tim. Her and I, we're, same, we're the same sisters. Sisters <laughs> now. Okay. Now yeah, we're sisters. sisters. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mutt and Jeff, no, something like that. Mo and Joe. Yeah, no. Mo and Joe. Mo and Joe. <laughs> it's all good. Um, There's no questions? Do we have no questions. Closing, closing thoughts? Yeah, it's, it's like, um, we'll, we'll send this out to everybody. I mean, obviously, it's um, recorded. I know a lot of people can't make the 2 p.m. stuff, so a lot of people that ask me, so... But yeah, it's um, 
definitely, like I said, something I'm, I'm looking forward to. I've attended so many events and uh, I always thought to myself, geez, I'd like to do one of those someday. And so now I have the knowledge accumulated in this brain. <laughs> yep. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to share it. All right. Well, I think this was... How many days are we doing this? Are you sure it's only going to be one day, Tim? Do we have enough time? <laughs> I, we're going to have to make one day work. That's all I can say. Oh, okay. This time. Yeah, this time. So people will have to come with a, a, a very open mind and ready to uh, to grow and to uh, and to have their mind blown, to be quite honest, like, because probably by the end of the day, it'll be like, like watering a plant, which is too much water. It's just like going to be overspilling. Uh, you're not going to be able to take any more in a good way. And, uh, you know, you'll be wanting to rush home and implement everything that you learn. And there will only ever be one event, one first event. Correct. The three of us coming together. So I'm, I'm excited just even for that concept. Like what, what else is possible? Yep. That's right. Oh yeah. I'd like everybody to leave that with, with that thought. What else is possible? That's a good way to wrap it up. Sure is. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Thanks, Tim. Thank you everybody awesome. for coming. And we'll see you in the next lab. All right. Take care, guys. <laughs>